Hey guys, my name is Miraki and I'll be showing you my nighttime routine. So first things first, we head into the bathroom and after a very busy day, we want to make sure we clean our face and we have a shower. Guys, never underestimate the power of a cold shower. You know, it gives you a very beautiful sleep. I do take my bath twice a day, especially on days when I was at um, work. Yes, but if I was just in the house, like all day, I will lie to you. I have my bath just once. So I just went ahead with tea tree oil. This tea, this crop infused with tea tree. You guys know what tea tree oil does to the skin. I love tea tree oil products because they are good with acne. And I'm going in with this other cleanser from Esano, vitamin C it's infused with vitamin c i just go ahead and do a second cleanse on my skin with that and please i make sure i go behind my ears okay don't forget your ears and next up i'm gonna be having my bath and i'll be using this black soap this one is called Divitone. i've been using it but um i feel like it dry it's been drying up my skin a lot so i started moisturizing more so good black soap has to be this mushy you know it has to be like this like <laughs> this consistency you can see right so that is what i'm going to be using to have my bath i apply a generous amount all over my skin i make sure i massage that very well into my skin then i'll be using my sponge there are a lot of girls a lot of people who don't use sponges to bathe how do you guys do it how this actually helps to open your pores every day if you don't do like the normal exfoliating with coffee scrubs sugar scrubs and the rest this actually helps open your pores cleanses your skin very well from the pores take your time do it in circular motions and then i go ahead to brush my teeth i leave that um black soap on my skin for a while so that it penetrates my skin and does it does its job you know does its job so i'll be brushing my teeth with my favorite toothpaste um from long Rich. and yeah vibing to a song so i'm rinsing everything out and oh my god i'm not sure i'm gonna play it again guys the feeling of water touching your scalp each time you want to have a bath guys oh my god i actually forgot to show you guys the shampoo i used for my hair let me show you right now so i used the tresemme shampoo this one so it kind of softens your hair guys i love man i love this i love it so badly like it does the job it does the job so soft on my hair it makes my hair smooth and silky and yeah you know colored hair kind of gets um kind of hard so this actually helps it get soft so i always make sure i rinse out all the black soap from my skin guys i don't want it to remain there i don't want it to be dry i make sure i get into every area where i know it might hide we are cleansing guys we want to have a thorough bath as you can see cleansing everything making sure that everything is clean squeaking clean yes honeys okay girl is shining so next up for my face cream <laughs> i'm gonna be using this one from jara cosmetics it's a Ghanaian brand i'm using that to apply all over my face i don't actually apply body lotion all over my body at night what i usually do is just moisturize or i apply my serum in the night it just depends on how i feel at that moment but today i decided to use like just my face cream and then i make sure i work that under my eye and around my eye area to make sure i don't have like dark circles and all the like i usually take a lot of time to prep my face guys i'm using this um shea butter this is original shea butter from the far north region of cameroon and i'll be applying a very generous amount all over my hair that's just going to help it get soft too coconut oil is good for the hair i'm applying a good amount too and i'm going to be taking my time to rub that into my scalp like so generously until it touches like the roots of my hair we want to care for that colored hair we don't want our hair falling off <laughs> yes in as much as i look good in this i don't want it to you know cut out all my hair so after that 
right into bed and i'm gonna be protecting my hair with this hair bonnet yeah i don't want all the goodness i just did with the shea butter and the coconut oil to rub off on my <sighs> yeah i love to smell good guys i also spray my body mist in the night guys i want to smell good yes don't judge me okay next up i always love um reading from the word of god i'm a christian yes honey a proud one of that so i'm drinking this mixture i love to drink before i sleep it's just it just boosts my metabolism and um it's made up of ginger lemon turmeric and um hot water i just do this and i drink and then i stay up for like about 30 minutes or one hour and then i go to bed yes so in case you're wondering what bible i use or what bible i'm reading i am gonna be showing you um <coughs> i use the one from joyce the women's devotional um, bible by joyce mayer i don't i'm sure you guys know her yeah she's popular of course so next up i don't leave my lips like that i go ahead and moisturize my lips with vaseline i use this one um the pinkish one that's what i use or I can just go ahead and use my Carmelo uh, Max um, Medicated Lip Balm. Keeps my lips plump. Do this, guys. This is the dry season and you will never, ever have, like, dry, chapped lips. And I'm heading to bed. Yeah, that's all about my night routine, guys. And before I go, I want to show you guys something I do that is very weird. If you know me, you would know this. I cannot sleep like this. I'm not able to sleep like this, no matter how hot it is. Let me show you how I sleep. I actually cover my whole head under the blanket. No matter how hot it is, I'm always under like this. Like this, guys. Like this. I cover up like this. <laughs> so, if definitely you sleep by me, you might be thinking, oh my god, is this girl suffocating? But I can't sleep with my head out of my blanket. Like, I always cover my head out like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching till this moment. Good night and see you hopefully in my next video. Please, in case you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you are updated each time I upload any new content. Ciao!